Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I'll show you how you can create the word cloud in Power BI. So word cloud is uh, one of the interesting visualization which is based on the idea that based on the number of times or based on the measure that we have higher the measure bigger the word which gives an idea about let's say for example uh, you are looking at customer text maybe especially for those cases where they are returning the product and you may want to identify what are those top three or four reasons because of which customers are returning the product right or maybe the customer reviews negative customer reviews positive customer reviews so that helps uncover the insight from the unstructured data and give us the information back on which we can take action all right uh, before i move ahead a uh, quick information that this is spreadsheet is present in the description so there are a lot of previous videos that i have posted on uh, youtube and you can access you can search these videos here and then jump directly to those videos using the link that i'm maintaining over here this will going to help you easily do all the search so that you don't have to search it across my channel if you're looking for a specific video or you are planning to create your old own learning uh, uh, library in terms of what you want to cover first what you want to cover next all right now let's move on to the power bi so here we are within the power bi and to create the word cloud we need to come over here get more visual and we need to click on import a visual from a uh, get more visual yeah not not from the file all right uh, now i'll go into the power bi certified section in this window and down there on the second line you have the word cloud so if i click on the word cloud it shows the word cloud is a visual representation of word frequency and value right and it gets instant insight into the most important terms in your data and you can like it is showing you you can create sort of a quadrant as well based on the dimension value so let's click on add and see whether it is adding it over here clicking okay now i'm going to click the word cloud over here so here is our word cloud so what i'm going to take is the product name let's say for example and uh, we will going to take the sorry the category into the product name so these are like the various product names and right now it's based on the frequency like xerox is coming 121 times that means a lot of products that is related to xerox and every and uh, you have outlet black gbc and uh, based on how we want to uh, enlarge them or right now it is just the count of words but let's say we want to enlarge or we want to give them a weight of sales right where the sales is happening most so now you see the word cloud is changed so now the chair dot dot matrix so it's definitely something related to the printer conference tables printer this is something which is coming now if you don't want sales you want to understand the profit part of it you can click on the profit and you will see that binding machine havelet copier inkjet printer canon so definitely it shows that uh, something around the printer is is really uh, giving you the lot of uh, values or a lot of profit okay now up to you uh, whether you want product category but uh, if you want something else uh, you can even get that uh, for example province is something you may want to get an idea on like ontario is is coming out clearly right uh, island or nova or nona is, is something which is quite low so whatever category you will going to pull in over here it will going to create the visualization for you and the best part is that not just with the frequency count but with the help of the your measures you can use this after that now let's look at some of the formatting options so in formatting we have like the data color what is the default color the color for ontario and and your different categories now it's up to you if you want to choose a, a different setting altogether for colors based on your needs uh, because some colors are considered as the warm color some colors are neutral some colors are you know showing a different sort of emotion so it's a different uh, 
so, you know, study all together. So based on how you want to use it, you may want to use the change the color. Then you have these stop words like is the uh, and all of those kind of stop words which does not reveal anything is something it is uh, you can remove it especially in situation where you have a complete unstructured data for example the customer comments or product reviews so there they use a lot of these stop of sp sp um, stop words uh, i don't know stop words yeah so the is and all is is something which they use it will going to remove that also there is option that uh, you want to rotate text if you don't want right now I've just switched off so it's showing you directly if you want to rotate you can enable it and you can specify how much is the minimum angle you want maybe minus 30 to uh, maybe 16 right so this is something which you can probably have it as per your needs and then some some information uh, pre-estimate words uh, you can enable or disable and experiment around it the quality how much quality you want you can get it out and it's more around experimenting and figuring out whether it makes sense for your situation or not but these are like some of the basic and default settings which you can change as per the needs that you have so that's pretty much all about the word cloud chart and now i'll meet you in the next topic the new video